this is Mr. Tapia from Men's Health Kitchen and today I am going to make a special and a really scrumptious dish that is Mushroom Tawa Fry. For that all ingredients you need are, come on guys. So guys the ingredients are some chopped coriander as you can see here. Then I have somewhere around, uh, somewhere around half a kg of onions sliced as you can see here. Then I have some oil for cooking and I'll be using some butter which I've not kept it here. I'll mix both the combination of butter and oil and be cooking it. Then here I have mushrooms. These are some, they are, these are the oyster mushrooms. These are somewhere around 250 grams of mushrooms. I've kept them full. I've not uh, cut them into pieces as they'll become very small while they get cooked. They get shrinked off. Then here I have somewhere around two to three tomatoes sliced longitudinally as you can see here in this style. Then uh, approximately two uh, tablespoon of uh, garlic paste, one tablespoon of ginger paste, some dry spices like garam masala half a teaspoon. This is uh, kitchen king masala half a teaspoon, then dhania powder half a teaspoon, pounded zira that's cumin seeds half a teaspoon. Then here I have turmeric, uh, one fourth of a teaspoon, salt according to taste, and here I have um, a cumin powder. This is one half a teaspoon. That's zira powder. So now we will start with the preparations. So guys, uh, here I have added on a pan tawa. You should take an iron tawa. Uh, or a tawa and add a little bit of butter, half the quantity of butter, half the quantity of oil. I've added 50 grams of butter and somewhere around that much amount of oil also. Then once it's nice and hot, I'll be adding half the amount of onions and I'll be preparing half the quantity now. And in So guys, uh, here I'll be stir frying it nicely in the oil till it becomes nice and uh, lightly golden brown. So guys, if your tawa is small and you can't do such a large quantity at one shot, you can divide it further to the two parts and just prepare it in two divisions. The we do it into two steps. So guys, now I'll be adding the ginger garlic paste and I will nicely fry it in the oil till it gives out an intensifying aroma. So guys, uh, now I'll be adding all the dry spices, dhania powder, that coriander powder, uh, kitchen king masala, then the cumin seed, that is the zira pounded, turmeric, salt according to taste, then the cumin powder, mix all with the masala nicely, and just for a few seconds, the stir fry so that it starts giving a nice intensify aroma when it just gets uh, blended or just get uh, fried up with the oil. Now I will be adding tomatoes. I am not going to make it too late as the masala will get burnt. And then once you add the tomatoes, I will be nicely uh, stir frying this. So guys, uh, in the order to get the tomatoes soft, what I, all I've got to do is keep the volume on low. Once you lose hand, just sprinkle a little bit of water, not a large quantity, just a little bit of water and close it with the lid. For just few seconds till the tomatoes become nice, soft and tender. So guys, the, I just moved the lid right now and as you can see the tomatoes have been nicely cooked or partially cooked. I'll be adding the oyster mushrooms and uh, I'll <coughs> then I'll be nicely mixing them with the masala and I'll let it to cook on the tawa for some time. First I'll stir fry it nicely in the masala so that uh, it gets the, the nice, each and every piece gets nice coated with all the masalas and it gets the flavor of the iron tawa also. In that way I'll be just uh, Cooking the mushrooms nicely and then 
I'll add a little bit of coriander, not a large quantity. I'll be adding the large quantity at the end. I should give the intensifying aroma at the end. Uh, then I'll just uh, stir fry it nicely with masala. Once you stir fry it nicely with the masala, I'll sprinkle some more water in this way, very less of water. And I will close, it, close the lid. And in intervals of time, I'll be checking if the masala, mushrooms have been done. And apart from that, I'll be checking if the masala is not getting stick at the bottom. And keep the volume also on low so that it gets cooked in its juices and steam and it doesn't burn out fast. So guys, uh, once you feel that your uh, mushrooms have been done nice, uh, nicely, the mushrooms have been prepared. If you feel it catching at the bottom, sprinkle some water. Here I can feel that my mushrooms have been done nicely. I'll be sprinkling some fresh coriander over it and I'll be plating it or dishing it out. See guys, it looks so yummy, yummy and the mushrooms are really scrumptious. So here guys, we have done with the yummy, yummy oyster mushrooms, tawa fried.